Throughout the existence of Earth, the continents and oceans of our planet have continuously shifted shape over the geological epochs. Mountains shoot out of the ground and get grinded down by Mother Nature. Rivers dig deep gorges, dry out and get buried again, and basins flood to form lakes before a shift in Earth's topography eradicates them again. Many natural wonders have existed and have been destroyed again long before mammals have ever touched the surface of this planet, and most of what was will stay hidden from humanity for the rest of time. One record-breaking feature, however, which we do know about, has existed not too long ago, and it puts all existing lakes into its shadow by miles. 10 million years ago, which in the time scale of Earth's history is in the last 0.2%, a giant body of water covered most of today's Eastern Europe and Central Asia, creating the largest lake to have ever existed. The lake, called Paratethys, was formed around 34 million years ago, when mountain building events created the Alps, Carpathians, Dinaric, Taurus and Elbrus Mountains, separating it from the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean. During this time, the basin in the Great Hungarian Plain still allowed water to freely interchange with the world's oceans, giving the Paratethys the classification of a sea. 12 million years ago, however, with further growth of the Dinaric Alps around today's Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro and Albania, the connection to the oceans was finally cut off, turning the Paratethys into the largest lake in the history of Earth. During its 5 million year long lifespan, the lake spanned from today's southern border of Germany all the way to the Pamirs and Tian Shan mountains of today's Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan. With a surface area of 2.8 million square kilometers or just above 1 million square miles, the lake was larger than today's countries of Argentina or Kazakhstan, which are the 8th and 9th largest countries respectively. Today it is estimated that 1.8% of the global land area is covered by lakes making it an area of 2.6 million square kilometers, which is still less than the Paratethys alone. Looking at the volume, the dimensions of the mega lake become even more apparent. The total volume of all surface lakes in the world combined is assumed to be a total of 181 cubic kilometers, which is just about 10% of the water which has been stored inside the largest lake that has ever covered Earth's surface. Despite the gigantic size of this prehistoric lake, all things in Earth's history have to come to an end eventually. 5.6 million years ago, the Strait of Gibraltar closed up, cutting off the only oceanic water inflow into the Mediterranean basin. The dry climate in the region led to rapid evaporation, which dried out the majority of the Mediterranean Sea within just a thousand years, leaving the water levels 3 to 5 kilometers shallower than they used to be. Water from the Paratethys eventually found its way into the Mediterranean, effectively draining out the lake and putting an end to its status of the largest lake in the world. With receding water levels, the remaining water became hypersaline, eradicating nearly all endemic flora and fauna which has roamed the central Eurasian landscape. Among some of the victims which fell to the changing environment were the dwarf seals and dolphins, as well as the smallest species of whales to have ever lived on this planet. The example of the Paratethys demise within just a few 10,000 years highlights the significance that small changes to the world's hydrography can have and should act as a cautionary tale for the things humans are doing to the world. Not everything of the Paratethys is gone, however. The deepest sections are maintaining their water levels to this day, and three descendants can still be swum in. The Black Sea, the Caspian Sea, which today holds the title of the largest lake in the world, and finally the Aral Sea, are all remnants of the once prosperous giant. While the Black and Caspian Sea are relatively stable today, the Aral Sea is undergoing similar rapid shrinking like the Paratethys did 5 million years ago just that the developments are man-made and happen at extremely accelerated speeds this time. If you want to know what happened to the Aral Sea and why it is one of the worst man-made nature catastrophes in the world, check out this video. And if you want to stay up to date and not miss any future uploads, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.